You know we love to recreate Gordon Ramsay's recipes, and this mozzarella rosemary pizza looked too good not to try. And if you see this Chef Ramsay, we'd love to know how he did. The first step is to combine two 7 gram packets of active dry yeast with 325 milliliters of warm water plus one tablespoon of sugar to feed the yeast. Give that a mix, then allow it to sit for a few minutes. You should see lots of bubbles start to form. If you don't, your yeast is dead, and I'd like to extend my deepest condolences. Sift 500 grams or 4 cups of double zero or pizza flour into a large bowl. Add about 1 tablespoon of fine sea salt and gently mix with your hands, making a well in the middle. Pour 4 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil into that well, followed by the bubbly yeast mixture. Now get your hands in there to mix the ingredients together until a ball of dough forms. It's a little messy, but hey, that's part of the fun. At this point, remove the dough from the bowl and knead for about 10 minutes on a lightly floured surface. The dough should go from a shaggy, slightly sticky ball to one that is smooth and elastic. Place in a lightly floured bowl, cover, and allow to rise for about one hour or until it has roughly doubled in size. Now this is my favorite part. Gently punch down the dough to release the air. Is that not so satisfying to watch? Remove the dough from the bowl and divide into four roughly even portions. Take one portion and cover the others with a kitchen towel. Then on a lightly floured surface, gently press the portion into a circle roughly 25 centimeters or 10 inches in diameter. Transfer the dough to a lightly oiled, oven-safe pan over medium heat. This part really helps to get the crust perfectly cooked without a traditional pizza oven. A definite stroke of genius if you ask me. After a few minutes on the heat, you'll notice the dough will start to puff up. At this point, add about 2 tablespoons of tomato passata, also known as tomato puree, then tear on about half a ball of fresh mozzarella cheese. Finally, drizzle on a little more olive oil, then place under the broiler in your oven for about 4 minutes or until the cheese is bubbling and the crust is nice and crispy. Once done, add freshly cracked black pepper and some fresh rosemary leaves, then serve immediately. This is definitely a really good option for anyone who loves pizza but doesn't have a pizza stone or an incredibly hot oven. It recreates that Neapolitan style, or gets close enough, and is really simple to do. Love the simplicity, but looking forward to trying this method with different toppings too. Chef Ramsay, how did we do? We'd love it if you check out one of these other great videos and subscribe for more amazing recipes.